All right, we have x to the power 2 to the power x equals x to the power 16. Now, I know what you're thinking, uh, all right? For example, if since you have the same bases, you could just say 2 to the power x equals 16, and then 2 to the power x equals 2 to the power 4, and x is going to be equal to 4. And there you go, it's easy. All right, that's true, but I'm going to show you that we actually have three roots to this equation, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take off this because... That method does not give us all the roots. So I'll bring the x to the 16th power this side. So I'll have x to the power 2 to the power x. And by the way, this means x to the power 2 to the power x. So the 2 to the power x is the power of x minus x to the power 16 equals to 0. Let me factorize out x to the power 16, right? So x to the power 16, I'll factorize that out. So that leaves me with x to the power 2 to the power x minus 16 uh, minus 1 because of this equals to 0. So x to the power 16 equals 0 and this implies that x equals to 0. So that's the first root. That's the first value of x. Okay, let's take the second part of the equation now. So I have x to the power 2 to the power x minus 16 minus 1 equals to 0. So this is x to the power 2 to the power x minus 16 equals 1. All right. Again, we could just say x, this one here, we could just call it x to the power 0. And then 2 to the power x minus 16 equals to 0. But that also will make us lose one more root. So I'm not going to do that. But I will put natural logarithms on both sides or... I'll put logs on both sides, so I'll have, uh, let me just show you that here, so I'll put natural log here, and natural log here, this becomes 2 to the power x minus 16, the natural log of x equals the natural log of 1 is 0, so we have two more equations here, 2 to the power x minus 16 equals to 0, 2 to the power x equals 16, alright, so 2 to power x equals 2 to power 4, if you like. So x, that's 2. So x equals 4. And finally, we have also natural log of x equals to 0. Uh, write that in another color. Natural log of x equals to 0. Okay, if you put exponents on both sides, exponent of natural log of x exponent of 0, you'll actually have this cancel out with this, so x equals the exponent of 0 is 1. Okay, so those are the three roots of x. x is 0, x is 4, and x equals 1, all right? It's an interesting problem to consider. So thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe below. Check out the channel for more videos and courses and interesting problems like this and leave a comment below to tell me what you think also if you have a problem you would want me to solve leave it in the comment section below send it to me by email and i'll see you in the next video thanks